What up, YouTube? It's your boy Mitch by Malachi back again with another one. Today, I'm about to show you how to prepare your song for Masters in Logic. But you can also do this in Ableton Live. You can do this inside of Studio One. You can do this in all the other DAWs. But if you don't know how, I definitely put a tutorial up on how to do it inside of Ableton Live, Studio One, and all that. So we can have more videos to give, you know what I'm saying? But you may want to get your track ready, send it out to the professionals to get your sound bumping up a little loud. You know what I mean? I don't know what you want to do. So, pretty much. You want to get your sound right and you want to send it off to masters for the professionals or somebody like me to get your song ready. Yo, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification to keep you guys in tune with all the latest content I got coming up. Man, I appreciate you guys rocking with me. Man, it's been going a little slow, but I ain't going to stop. I'm going to keep smashing for y'all, you know what I'm saying? So, also in the description, make sure you go follow me on Instagram, man. You know what I mean? Your boy be dropping all kind of stuff on Instagram so you can keep in contact with me. Let's try to keep this channel growing. Man, because I don't want to disappear on y'all like Houdini. Let's get it cracking, man. So, the very first thing I do is I like to check the level of my overall mix to make sure I got my stereo track sitting around negative 6 dB. Or ne the highest I'll go is to negative 3 dB. Anything above that, I feel like I'm not leaving enough headroom for the mastering engineer to do his work properly. So just remember that. You want to make sure your stereo track, your stereo bus is about negative 6 dB, which I'm going to show you another way to check too. You're going to add a level meter on it. So, And then I like to add an Ozo 9 on it. I like to use the uh, imager on here. And right here I can check for my phase issues, which I taught you guys that in the uh, previous video, I believe. So um, what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna level out my track. I'm gonna make sure it's sitting around uh, negative, negative six, you know, the negative three. Let's play it back. For the bread, niggas been killing shit. With the money making niggas really quick. Yeah. Get your favorite rapper that you talk about. Just no bitch, we on the same shit. Yeah. We be business with it, I don't just me. No. Just understand we on some different shit. And I don't fuck around with a lot of niggas. Keep it closed mouth, cause niggas got some man. man, fuck you, niggas. Fuck you, nigga. Okay, then as you can see, my pass meter, you can see right here that. It's staying above, you know, staying around the uh, positive one up here. You definitely don't want it in a negative down here, which means you got a phase issue and you need to go back in your song and correct that. Now on my video and learn how to mix a mono, I show you how to check for phase issues and that should pretty much help you get this part down, packed and done. So this is the very first thing I do is, so as you can see, my song is around negative five, three dB right now. So that's perfect for me. It leaves me enough headroom and I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by headroom. So let's close this out. Now that we checked to see where our level is, let's go over to, uh, now in Logic, they have a, le a level meter. All you gotta do is just go to metering and go to level meter and boom, here go your level meter right here. Let's open it. So make sure you take the, uh, it's gonna be on peak. So just take it from peak to RMS, to peak and RMS. And then what you wanna do is play it back. Now, when I'm mixing my track, now when I have a, when I have a beat and I'm getting ready to rap over it, if it's two track, I like it to be around negative 12, but when I'm sending my song off to a mastering engineer and I want to, a mastering engineer and I want to make sure you have headroom, I turn it to, I turn this dial right here to about negative 8 dB, pretty much in a range. When I'm, when I'm mastering my songs, I like to be around negative 8 dB. It might hit negative 7.9 or 7.8, but you know, as long as you're not getting any distortion, you're good to go. So what I do is I play the song back and then I pay attention to the RMS and I pay attention to the peak. So let's do that. For the bread, niggas been killing shit. Man. With the money making niggas really quick. Yeah. Get your favorite rapper that you talk about. Just no bitch, we on the same shit. Yeah. We be business with it, I don't just me. No. Just understand we on some different shit. And I don't fuck around with a lot of niggas. Keep it closed mouth, cause niggas got some quick. Man. man, fuck you niggas. Fuck you niggas. I don't fuck with you niggas. No. Rather ride on my own, I came in this world. All by myself. Stay true to my zone, they say I didn't make it. Fuck niggas be hating. Hey. Don't understand shit, just always talk. talk. Making me mad. Man. Till I'm busting they fuck. shit. I'm ten now, when I say I'm leaving myself headroom, as you can see, there was a lot of headroom being left right there. You can see my RMS is negative 17, which is cool to me because once I get ready to start mastering and certain things, I'm, I'm going to turn up. I may want to mess with the uh, bottom a little bit, bring it up a little bit. I may touch the mids to bring the vocals up a little bit. I may touch the highs to bring out some clarity in the song. 
You know what I'm saying? And in the next tutorial, man, I'm going to show you like a dope way of mastering your song, but you just got to make sure the mix is right. And that's the reason why I'm showing you these steps. So that way, when you get to the mastering part, it's not much you have to do to bring your song up in volume. You know what I'm saying? And as you can see, my peak is negative 3.6. And like I said, my RMS is negative 7, negative 17.3. So just remember, you want to leave yourself enough headroom. And as you can see down here, it's saying negative 3.6. But, you know, pay attention to your level meter, which is great. You know what I'm saying? And those are two steps. And and this is the this is another step that I always tell people all the time when I'm getting ready to master their songs. Because I get a lot of people who send me sessions and they be having plugins on it. Just make sure on your stereo bus. You have nothing on it when you get ready to bounce it down. There's nothing on the stereo bus for the simple fact that you don't want to already send a song to somebody that it looked like it's already pre-mastered. You definitely want to have this level at the level that it is right now. So when you send me the session, I don't have to worry about calling you back like, yo, make sure you turn the plugins off. So on this channel right here, on this master channel, you don't want to have anything on here, nothing whatsoever. But if you have an Ozone 9 and it's because of True Peak and you want to keep the peaks down, that's cool. You can leave this up right here. You can leave this up right here. You know what I'm saying? And um, and pretty much those are like my rules that I use. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure you check the level of your song. Make sure that it's around negative 6 dB because I have some mastering uh, presets that I believe I gave you guys. So those presets only work if you have your song around negative 6 dB to negative 5 because I set the levels to where it'll jump your song up a little bit in volume, but add some clarity to it and add just a tad bit of compression just to soften up the song so the highs won't be screaming in your ear because most of the times when you put on headphones and you listen to music in the headphones, if it hurts, that means something, something just terribly wrong, man. You want the music to be soothing and you want to be able to go off the sound of the beat. You want to you know, be able to have them headphones on or in your car and the beat is banging without sounding like something screaming in your ear. And those are just crazy frequencies that you didn't control when you were mixing the song. So like I said, man, you definitely want to make sure that you have, you know, and it is a polar sample, but once you play it back, you'll see, you know what I mean? It's going up the middle. For the bread, niggas been killing shit. Man. But the money making niggas really quick. Yeah. yeah, your favorite rapper that you talk about. Just no bitch, we on the same shit. Yeah. We be business with it. I don't just mean no. Just understand we on some different shit. And I don't... You see what I'm saying by it being up the middle? Like I said, if it's bleeding anywhere between it's jumping to the sides like that, you want to keep it straight up the middle. If it's jumping up, if it's jumping around in the sides, that means you got a phase issue and you definitely want to go back in the mix and check that and get that in check and get that under control. And um, those are pretty much three basic things I use when I'm getting ready to uh, send my song off for mastering and stuff like that. And um, like I said, it's real simple and easy to do, man. You know what I'm saying? And this this will definitely help the mastering engineer be able to, you know, do a proper master on your song. Or if you send it to me, whatever, however you want to do it. But I recommend you send it to your boy because I'm going to have it nice and spicy for you. And then as far as bouncing it down. Project section. And then make sure the dithering is, uh, the dith dithering is off. I do 44, uh, 44. I do uh, 44, 44. I do <laughs> 44,100, whatever you want to say. I do the sample rate right here. Um, these are my settings for the file type. I don't really do too much, but I do not leave the overload protection on. I definitely don't leave this on. I turn that off and um, that's pretty much it. And I'm not bouncing down the MP3 or anything like that. So I definitely leave the MP3 alone. But when I'm bouncing it down, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. This is how I bounce it down. These are my settings when I'm bouncing down. File format wave, 24 bit, 44.1 file type. You know what I'm saying? Interleave. And then the dithering, I leave it at none. And I bounce it down offline. You can bounce it down real time because you may want to check, you know, listen to your song as it play down. But, I pretty much know that I like the way it is, so I'm not going to put it in real time, but I recommend if this is your first time, put it on real time so you can bounce it down and you can kind of hear your song as it's going because it may be something that you didn't like or that, you know, you may messed up somewhere. Sometimes we tend to do that, you know what I'm saying? And um, that's pretty much it, man. And then, you know, you hit OK, bounce it down to where you want it to go. It'll pop up with this right here. You know, you can save it to your desktop if you want to, however you want to do it. And... That's pretty much it, man. And that's how I get my song ready and prepared for mastering when I'm ready to do my thing. So if you ever want to send a song to me, just make sure you follow these steps. And 
before I do that, I'm going to show you. Actually, I'm going to do another tutorial on that, man. How to send the session to me. How to bounce the session down and how to send it to me. That's going to be the next video, man. You know what I'm saying? So, be prepared for that. And pretty much that's it, man. It's your boy Mixed by Malachi. And those are pretty much the steps I take in getting my song ready for mastering. Even though I know it's going to be me mastering it. Or maybe I might want to send it to Landry or a mastering engineer. But I'm going to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like to do my own stuff because I actually know what I'm looking for. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, those are pretty much the steps I take, man. And if you take those same steps, you can get your song prepared, ready, nice sounding. And you don't really got to worry about too much. Like I said, it's very simple, very easy. Yo, just remember, make sure you guys subscribe. Also, hit that bell notification to keep you guys in tune with all the latest content I drop. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'll be, I'll be giving away free stuff sometimes, so just be prepared. You know, maybe I might be giving away a 2i2. Might be doing a competition for it. You know what I'm saying? So let's get everybody into that competition. And um, we'll talk about that on the next one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we'll probably do like a little competition for the 2i2. So I know some of y'all may need an interface. You may not, but you can give it to somebody who do. Yo, it's your boy Mix by Malachi. I appreciate you for watching. Y'all take care, man. Never let nobody tell you you can't do it because you can. And I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.